folks, back here with Off Screen Kim for yet more of the Third Age Let's Play Together. Uh, we have gotten all kinds of stuff from that last fight, and uh, we also have an epic scene from Middle Earth, so let's see what the big G's got to tell us this time. The power of Galadriel. Well, apparently she's not so powerful that you're not afraid to steal her lines, but let's check it out. With every elf that sails across the western sea, Middle-earth is diminished. Some travel far from the heart of Elven on Earth, realm of the Lord Celeborn. No, it's Those really Galadriel's realm. Celeborn's just her boy toy. Across these mountains, they make for the harbor, to the Grey Havens, and then beyond the White Towers, far The gift of the elves is their ability to shape the unseen world. Lothlorien is defended by one of the wisest and most wonderful of these ancient beings. She has the ability to see far and peer deep into the soul of others. or helpful, but thanks Gandalf. Uh, let's get to the fun stuff, like uh, leveling up Barathor's stats here. Uh, some strength. And some spirit here. You'll notice Barathor's a little bit ahead because he's the character we've got running around. And I remember we got some new equipment. Ooh, I've got a new long sword from Ithilien, despite the fact that it's in Eregion several hundreds of miles away, but we won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Because it is better than the one we had. And we've got new stuff for Idriel too. A third age elven gold plated fold. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a fold is a skirt-like piece of armor. And because she's a girl, you know, of course we have to keep her in pretty skirty things, even when she is fighting. I will try not to make too much of a big cranky deal out of this, despite the fact that it irritates me. It's something we always see in movies and RPGs. Girly armor. But we'll have worse examples of it later. Oh, just you wait. Ent bark. Oh my god! Someone peeled off an ant skin and put it in a box, and that's creepy! Dude! That's wrong! And now we've got cranky wild men from Dunland, apparently. Here to grunt at us and try to kill us. But we will be killing them. Do some sword craft and we'll get this skill up. If I can get her up a little bit further, she gets a neat little ability called Wounding Strike, which is the gift that keeps on giving. Those ones are always fun moves in any RPG. Please die. These guys are always full of wonderful, inarticulate grunts and grumbles and general simian-like behavior. It's weird, they're actually kind of less human than the orcs, which seems backwards and wrong, but I didn't create this game. Ow! Oh, I defeated a warband. 
probably a quest I wasn't paying attention to, because it gives you new quests all the time. Oh, it restocked our AP when we leveled up, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's up our spirit. And let's keep our constitution from sliding too far into the pit. There we go. What's in the box? What's in the box? Give me stuff. Leaves of Limbus. Okay. Let's wiggle our way back out of this little cul-de-sac. So, let's go back the way we came. Check out these two little arms here. I know there's stuff up here that I will be wanting. Limbus. And, of course, gotta fight for this one. Ooh! This time we have two different varieties of grunties. We've got a gray-haired grunty, who is supposedly slightly wiser and more articulate, but never will really be You gotta watch out for these guys. They're crafty. They'll mess you up. Like that.
it looks like it should really hurt the guy. When he does that upswinging guardian strike, it looks like it ought to really just like, slam him in the jaw. Cave's not brutal enough for that. And somehow, giving the guy an uppercut to the chin hurts him more than slashing your sword across his middle. I don't know. Don't ask me to explain these things. There is no logic here. I'll do my three slash of victory at you, sir. And... Get various things. And have defeated the final war. Woohoo! Hunt the wild men. Well, that makes it sound actually kind of creepy. Don't put it like that, game. I'm not, I'm not after the most dangerous game here. I'm not. Really, I'm not. Just trying to, you know, do what the game told me to do. I'm just doing what you told me. Shut up. Don't judge me. Ah, elf medicine. Only for medicinal purposes now. Get with the slime. Ugh! Oh, this one's got both slime and the skin of a sentient creature inside! No! Ew! Oh. actually back the way I came so that I can yeah I can resave back here because I think we're getting close to time it's always good ooh ooh and there's an area I don't think we checked out yeah we've been in this one so let's save our game here I don't think we went in this other area. This is why it's good to backtrack. Let's go back through. Get with the door! Okay, that is our warning buzzer. But we've got time to check things out in here. Let's see what kind of... If I can learn to walk, we'll see what kind of stuff is in here. Uh, second Age Elven Silver Tiara of Eriador. No! Well, the region of Eriador existed in the Second Age. And there were probably some elves there, but it wasn't exactly any of the great elven kingdoms and Eriador was not what they called it. But, never mind. I now have a pretty tiara that I can wear, because that's what you want for battle. Let's see what it actually does. Do good things. Oh. Yeah, I wear a crown, and it gives me armor. Okay, maybe it keeps the sword from cutting me on that one little tiny area of my forehead, but... Yeah, whatever game. Fine. Anyway, this is a good place to call it before I start banging my head on something. This is Off Screen Kim signing off for the time being. Come back later, and we'll do it again.